I might forget to go pause and run through. So, But um, we started the year off with a benefit concert performed by the Clawson resident Matthew Ball. It was very successful and well attended. And uh, the next benefit we're going to have is a mystery dinner. It's planned for April 20th at the American Legion. And um, if you never attended one, it's where um, attendees will participate in solving a crime as they dine. And um, we have four local actors that will be hosting the event. And they do perform regularly at the Village Players in Birmingham. And I've met them all. They're wonderful. And really, you don't want to miss it because, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, then next we have, um, I'm sorry, any questions? Oh. How much are tickets? Yes. Tickets are $20 and uh, $35 per couple. And they have to be purchased in advance at the Hunter Community Center. And all of these um, events that we have are listed on elevatethearts.bpweb.com website. Um, so you can get all the information there. And you can also telephone. My, my phone number is available for questions about any of the events. Um, the next event is our Melodies Clash in Clawson, which is scheduled for May 19th in City Park. It's going to be from 4 to 8 p.m. And it is where three bands in three different age categories will compete for prizes. It's kind of like an American Idol theme. And um, the foundation is seeking donations for um, prizes that will be for the winners at the competition um, from local businesses. We do have some that I have here with us. Uh, Leon and Lulu, they were so kind to donate um, this awesome music book and a headset to listen to your music. And then uh, Regeneration, he donated a $25 gift certificate. Mm -hmm which I do shop there regularly and love it. And um, so I did that, did that, prizes. Okay, and I think that's it for that. And oh, we are, winner, oh, sorry, we are still seeking um, contestants for the event. And all that information, again, is on our website. And the winning band, who would be judged by a panel of judges? Yes, a panel of judges. Yeah, oh, that's right. And then... Um, the winners in each category will perform at the Black Lotus Brewery on a given date that hasn't been determined yet. And uh, we will have a panel of about four or five judges, one of which is going to be, um, I believe, one of the owners or the, the brewer. I think Mark, he's going to be a judge. And then, of course, Mayor Penny Lubes. And then uh, the others are to be decided still. If anybody would like to participate, please let us know. <laughs> Uh, and then our biggest event is um, the Arts and Authors Festival. This is actually going to be the second annual one because the first one was started by my husband and I last year at the Hunter Community Center. And this time we're going to move it to City Park, which will be um, much bigger. And uh, there's going to be a lot of activities that day. There will be a children's craft tent. There will be arts. There will be crafts. There will be music throughout the day. And it is going to be held in conjunction with the um, Farmer's Market on September 8th from 10 to 2, I believe is what we have planned for. And we are now accepting submissions for the event, again, at elevatethearts.bpweb.com. And um, I think that's it for that. And there will be tons of food that day. Yes. We did have a little uh, slip up last year with uh, food, <laughs> but that won't happen this year. And um, we also are running a photography contest and a writing contest. Uh, the details on those two contests will be on the website shortly, and they are going to be in the Cloth and Highlights letter coming out in April. <clears throat> um, and actually recently, I wanted to just take note that the foundation has made some headlines in the Oakland Press, the Troy Gazette, and um, the foundation was mentioned in an article um, about myself in the Cloth and Patch because I'm going to be putting on an a music class for infants and toddlers in the Nature's Playhouse Center at Hunter Community Center um, starting March 26th, and it's really kind of my own efforts to expose our youngest of residents to the arts. <clears throat> and I am also collecting recyclables because we will be making um, handmade instruments out of recycled vitamins. And then uh, and that's it for that. And really lastly, um, I just wanted to say as a resident for the past 10 years, and now as a parent, I mean, I'm striving for all of this to happen in Clawson because I really believe that these type of events are what connect people and uh, just brings people together, making a community stronger and more desirable to live and work in. And I'm just really glad that I was able to connect with the mayor 
uh, to start the foundation and get these events going. And when are the meetings? Oh, well, our next meeting is actually next Monday at 730, but they do happen at the Hunter Community Center the second Monday of each month. So if you guys would like to attend, we'd love to see you. <coughs> And the, art, the oh. art committee has great support from the school system. The art yes. teachers are present, yes, various yes. other residents who have an interest in art. So it's a great art experience that's happening in Clawson. Oh, definitely. And I have reached out because we have um, a couple of downtown um, art businesses now. Um, I believe it's Jeremy over yes. on Main Street. Uh, him and his wife, I, I let them know about the meetings, and I think they're going to try to make the next mm -hmm. one. And actually, I met him through um, the last Arts and Authors Festival, and a lot of the artists that were in that event are showcasing in a store now. So that was, I was glad to see that happen. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yes. All right. Any questions? I do. Uh, oh, go ahead. Basically, you volunteer your time to do this, don't you? I do. And it eats up oh. a lot of my time, but I, I enjoy it. Does. <laughs> yeah. I, I do. I enjoy doing these types of things. And again, I mean, just because I live in the city, I mean, I want these types of things to happen. Because we do see these types of events occurring in surrounding cities, and they've really uplifted them. So I just I think that can happen to Clawson. Well, thank you for everything you've done for our city. All Appreciate right. it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.